Well, what's up? This is a video about um, how our vessels are being used. A lot of people know that um, gods are here, aliens, and uh, we channel, which a channel is just like a, um, the way it is in nature. The channel is um, a pass with, through which uh, information flows through. <clears throat> and if you see the C in the beginning, you'll uh, be able to put some easy math together. No, that's like the C note in the um, in the uh, I think a piano. I don't know if a piano hits a proper C note. It does hit the C note actually. So you'll know the just like the sound you hear in the casinos when you're uh, the ching 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 ching, just like a uh, money flowing in, whether it's one cent or or two cents or even less than you put in it's still money which doesn't always add up but sometimes it does but let's just say it doesn't alright shots out to the Dracos gotta gotta send shots out to the Dracos on this one keeping the gods aligned not lying so wear units riders those are the ones riding on us we, we think we're in control the whole time and the gods allow us to um, you hear my emotional distortion going on here <clears throat> saying my emotions aren't lined up that's God too also only whatever because I know I'm still a being even though I was created improperly I don't have to give that many shots out at this time I know where I am in this time as best I can so aware units projections you know you want to know why um, we were chosen why uh, you believe the battle goes on here well the dracos and the avians excuse me dracos and the gods in this case are uh, they fought a war which it turned which they call experiment because they use the terms that we could understand with our small little human brains excuse me small little terran brain excuse me small little cocoon of energy our little tiny light that flashes somewhere in the light of the universe which we weren't given proper knowledge so we don't even know about that or maybe we partially do not up to God's expectations I don't know okay so aware unit so you pro the gods are able to project themselves in, in many ways and take over other beings it's just like a dream state once the um once you're at a higher level than the being itself at controlling something, you could take it over. Just like, just like happen, it happens all the time. It just happened to me now. And it happens in layers, levels. And I'm not going to keep going on with all that stuff because God just wants to distort this video, claiming it's on a need to know basis and the difference between secret and sacred and all those things and what you should or shouldn't know. Maybe you should know. Who knows? So I want to I want to finish this first part here where we see a aware unit. You know, when God's able to push himself into our body, he creates a unit of awareness. That's why uh, a lot of people get fixated or they don't have the the nat the nature we used to have which it wasn't the highest nature, but it was a good nature to know the nature on this mother earth this planet and not just the beings that create spiritual awareness because the planet itself is more than capable of creating spiritual awareness the universe is alive so a lot of people nowadays that get into this galactic stuff are totally immersed into the spirituality of God and all these projections and I'm just now um, you heard my voice change. I had a um, feeling of the truth of, of what I already knew that can't be hidden anymore is that everything is alive and everything is a vibration and if you're harmonious you don't really disturb any of those things. So if you don't disturb them you could actually be in their presence or in the presence of nature not just gods you know we're so saturated in all that. There's already enough in this video. We need something to pull us out of the total saturation of uh, being reliant. 
you know, you read the Bibles. God said he was everything, but you could tell when you read it, he, he, they, them were not. The beings still had their own realm to to um, understand. Even when, you know, even after the, the God thing goes away, you still have to reevaluate in your own time and understand these things. And that's something that um, that you could do on your own. That's, you know, we're not supposed to be robots that only know what we know we know everything that flows through us and if you don't maybe some of it is because you're being withheld by a higher being aware units aware units God's little battle tactic and we should put another word in there just so for future records if anyone wants to say I was such an asshole you can see just the opposite. I fight as hard for myself as I would expect or would have thought anyone to. I went as far as I could on my own. And I did the best I could do. Even when I give up or gave up. Even when I wake up again. <clears throat> Time. Rightful nature. In this time, we have the perception and a stored perception of time and the rightful nature of the course that could have been. It's not taken out of the equation. God's choice and God's direction strays from that. Or is it was a different choice, one that we didn't create. What would I have done? Huh, 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 huh. Who knows? Maybe I know. Maybe I know, maybe I don't know. Maybe there is no other option. Maybe the option that I chose could still reverberate throughout the future. Maybe even more people had awakened. And decide that it was how true it actually can be for them will affect this. Maybe me talking will affect this. Maybe if I didn't talk, maybe if I selected another way of presenting it, it would have. Maybe your view will change it. Maybe Hugh view will change it. So I have a voice, believe it or not. I have a voice, believe it or not. Spiritual field, what it takes to create, and how many cocoons. The spiritual field we live within is at the moment under the command of the Elohim by more than one process, and what it takes to create a spiritual field for a beings such as us we're not even called Terrans really Terrans it takes more to a being to make a Terran than what we have in us and the knowledge that we have and some of those fields may include knowledge of the elements directions the planet that we actually live on where we are at in the universe the galaxy life and death the energy body, dualism, a bunch of things that you would have to go over in books like these. If you look at one of these books, you just look at the um, titles. See, these may not mean much to you, but when I uh, when I see these and I've spent time, you know, it takes a lifetime of knowledge to learn. So anybody on that path should know that that's worthwhile. The lifetime of learning, lifetime of knowledge, to become a seer, a seer of uh, actual energy. So you have the other self. 
the art of dreaming, losing the human form, finding out what the human form is, seeing the human form. To see the human form, you may have to see other forms. That's more intention. That's a higher intention. You may have to have the intensity and the will to do so. Becoming aware of the right and left side awareness. Crossing the boundaries of affection. You have to have love in your life. You have to know where affection comes from. Excuse me. The rule of the Nawal. The Nawal, Nawal's party of warriors. The configurations of groups that people uh, gather in and associate in. Because they need those um, other people in their parties. And the, the awareness and the intention. And just the mind, the mindset and all that stuff combined together to make a, um, a unit. The unit, to have the unity to... Um, gathered to leave in this plane we're not we can't just leave as solitary beings although we are solitary beings there's more wisdom the wisdom of us of being a solitary being and what that actually ends up being because you can't just become one in one day or though although you may be one in one day you can just can't hold that same thought and the same feelings about it forever things have to change perception within the body moves the assemblage point in the energy body and feeling the energy body are all all important the plum plum serpent configurations that that parties make and things and uh, associations that people follow <clears throat> take a quick glance into this book we won't finish it but I just want you to show that it wasn't just one book that shows these things and um, quickly you see that there are numbers, numbers here. The manifestation of the spirit, the first abstract core of to within the totality of the three layers of awareness that we are able to reach. We do have limitations, although we may see past them. We have a median or a means which, when we, which we must live within. Here's a big word for everybody and one of the most important probably for a seer impeccability it may even trump all the other words you see the impeccability of a warrior counts for a lot the knock of the spirit the trickery of the spirit the descent of the spirit the requirements of intent handling intent the third point intending appearances the ticket to impeccability Breaking the mirror of self-reflection. So, when we see this whole script and we see that th what's going on actually is not actually a whole video on the topics that would be supposed or which you would be led to believe are totally true. And which it would have been the choice that I would have taken also. We also see that how many um, voices and changes go on and how many times the script will flip. You're not going to get to hear it every time. It happens too often, but you have uh, my voice, you have a co-voice, God's voice, your voice, and whoever you're channeling. Shouts out to Dracos one more time on this one. One for the Dracos on this. This wouldn't be happening. See how important things are? So I want to cut this video a little bit short so I don't have to trim. But uh, I'll be sure to uh, post again. And please uh, check my videos out on YouTube if they make sense. And you feel like commenting or anything, send a shout out. Peace.